A major part of the Old Testament are what we call the historical books. Uh, that would be uh, jud really beginning with Judges. Sometimes people include Joshua. Joshua, Judges, uh, First and Second Samuel, Ruth, First and Second, Second Kings, uh, First and Second Chronicles, Ezra, Nehemiah. The earlier historical books, what uh, would have been known as the former prophets, actually, is, is what the Jews thought of them. Uh, the, the early historical books are telling the story of how we got from the Mosaic Covenant to the Davidic Covenant to the exile and the hope beyond it. So when we read the historical books, we want to think about more than just a chronology. We're not just talking about national history. We're really getting the record of how God kept His promises, how we failed to keep ours, uh, and what God did about it. When we think about uh, the book of 1 Samuel, for example, essentially what we're looking at in 1 Samuel is the story of how God is finally going to bring about the kingship, the, the, the good, right, um, model kingship that was promised in the book of Deuteronomy. The, the book of 1 Samuel focuses on four main characters. Eli, Samuel, Saul, and David. In both cases, there's a transition, a transition from an unfaithful priest and prophet and judge to a faithful prophet, priest, judge, a transition from an unfaithful king to a faithful king. God, however, is the main character in the book of 1 Samuel because the book of 1 Samuel is about how God is keeping his promise to provide a faithful priest, a faithful prophet, a faithful king for his people that would represent God and God's promises in the fullness of his glory.